Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence in historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy. Today we're going to be talking about how to come up with original story ideas. So sometimes you know you want to write. You just have this itching to write a story. You're, you know you want to write like the next great American novel, but you don't know what to write about. Every idea you come up with, you feel like you've that it's been told before. So today I'm going to be talking about a few tips that you can take in mind when it comes to coming up with original story ideas so you can start writing your first novel. First tip is knowing that there's no such thing as an original story. Every story that there is to tell has already been told. The universe has run out of combinations. You may think that you have the most original story idea ever, but odds are someone else has told it before. You can look way back in history and up to the current um, stories that are being told today and you can see where things parallel. Stories are run on different things like emotions, plot, and characters, and there's only so many different combinations. I cannot tell you how many different versions of Romeo and Juliet that exist in the world. It's just the star-crossed lover story is seen everywhere. That does not mean that if you've written a story with a star-crossed lovers that it's a bad story. It just means that you're retelling a story that's already been out there, and frankly that's the case for every story. The difference between stories is not what happens, but how the story is told. That means you as the author are the one who determines just how original the story is. It's not necessarily about the plot, but how you go about telling your story. Now that you know there's no such thing really as an original story idea, we can actually get into the tips of getting a little more creative with coming up with story ideas. So tip number two, take examples from life. Do you realize the amount of stories I could tell just talking about my personal life my personal life is its own little sitcom slash drama within itself. I wouldn't even have to make anything up. It'd be very entertaining just going straight from fact, but I don't like to do that for privacy reasons as I'm sure a lot of authors can relate to that. While I've never written specifically about my life before, I have used events in my life that have kind of inspired novels. There's one specific chapter in I Am Mercy, my second novel, where it talks about heaven and the color yellow. And it's a direct correlation of when my grandmother passed away. And before she passed away, I sang her the song Yellow by Coldplay. So I kind of worked that into my book as a little dedication. Frankly, you can use your real life to inspire the whole plot of your novel. You know, things that happen in your life that will never happen in anyone else's life and it can make for a very interesting story. Um, I don't always recommend using your life directly to write a novel because, once again, privacy issues. But you can use it to kind of kickstart your story and get the ball rolling from there and get your creative juices flowing. And of course, if you decide to base something off of your life, one, you don't have to tell people that it is based off your life, and two, I would change character names and descriptions and things like that. Tip number three is look at old stories with new eyes. This last tip will probably be the most useful tip because you're taking stories that are already out there and kind of looking at them with a new spin. Now I'm not saying that you should be taking another author's idea and copying it. I'm saying that you should take a world that you're familiar with, a story that you love, and seeing how you would put your own spin on it. Really kind of morph it up, see what you would do differently, and just kind of play around with the plot. A huge example of this is fan fiction. So there are so many authors that get started with fan fiction, and I would say one of the biggest examples is Fifty Shades of Grey, which was a fan fiction of Twilight. So Fifty Shades of Grey is an erotic novel that's kind of in a corporate setting, but it was based off of Twilight, which is a young adult fantasy novel, and it's about vampires. So obviously there's very few correlations now. You know, the author, she kind of started off as a Twilight fan fiction, and then she kind of found her own story within it, and it became this whole series that has now made millions of dollars. So if you're having trouble with coming up with original story ideas, start off with fan fiction, just to exercise your writing brain and different things like that, and then when you start to feel confident, you can write your own story with completely original characters and settings and things like that. So that's my tips for coming up with original story ideas. If you have any other tips, please share them in the comments down below. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe.